I want you all to come on in here and zoom in on this here deer that I shot at Pier 1. It's not a Florida deer either. This is an American deer, America, without the A, America deer. And then you got to have a baby palm tree. Anywhere you go, you got to have a baby palm tree. <laughs> you got your baby palm. I'm excited to see this. All right, are you going to open it? Because I don't think Let's I can. Let's do it. I don't want to touch it early. Oh my God. <laughs> he did a lot of work. Since he I got it last. done. Yeah, this will be nice for somebody. It's a little 1-1, 450, 500 square feet. I think it'll come out really nice. The homeowner who hired us wants to start renting this thing short term. I think this will be really nice. It's gonna bring up the value of their property as well. The reason there isn't a lot of construction done on this is COVID yeah. hit, COVID-19 hit, and the building department has just taken forever to give us the permits. So we just got the permits maybe about two weeks ago. We added three windows. This is going to be the dining room window area type thing. And then our kitchen is gonna run all the way along that wall into where Justin's at. Um, but we did make a big, I made a big change in the I'll bathroom. take you on the journey of Stephanie's <laughs> changes that she has made. <laughs> so all this is all cut out. And you might ask why? <laughs> because she's decided to make the vanity smaller here. Toilet's gonna go right in this area here. This is gonna be one gigantic walk-in shower. And then she's also gonna have a tub, a freestanding tub coming off the back. Right here is gonna be like a beautiful jacuzzi soaker tub. And then right where like Justin is, to like right about here, is gonna be your shower. So it's all gonna be, this is gonna be a glass right here, if you can envision it. And then it'll be like where you shower and your tub area is all wet space. I think it'd be beautiful. The pictures are gonna show so well and I'm super excited. Yeah, this will be nice. I will wait to see your golden smile. The big reveal. Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm so excited! A big reveal. This looks so much bigger in here, Justin. Can you believe this was a garage? The big <laughs> tiles look good. I mean, this whole place just looks good. It's like the perfect blend between gray and a neutral, like, it's like my agreeable gray that I always use. It's like a perfect blend between this gray color, which is very popular, but feels a little bit cold, and this warm yellow tone. But man, this used to be the garage door, Justin, like this. Like, well, was here. Yeah, started here, and then over to there. It's so funny because I know we do this all the time, but it's still, it never gets old watching this. Over here was a door. Yeah, the door was right, right here. So we closed that in, Yeah. and it was a window and a door here. Oh, yeah. so cool. And then the kitchen, Justin, like. It does look good. Hey, I was hating on you about this. So this is where that built-in looking deal, whatever she's designed, whatever she's gonna do is gonna be right here. I have a plan. We'll see how it comes out. So this is we're... really nice. So my thought was you can take all of these out yeah. and maybe put like, take them out. A and then broom a closet. A little broom closet or your, your, what do you call that? Vacuum, or as Abner would say, vacuum. I went a little bit crazy, like see the back the backsplash I was talking about? Yeah. I went a little bit more funky because it's such a vanilla kitchen. I wanted to really add a pop, especially for this higher price point. I didn't want to go marble because our tile guys always get upset with me about the marble. And then this one's new too. This, this one, is one I new. added. This was my change order, but aren't you glad I did it this change It lets so order? much light in here. Okay. When you're at the sink, you need to actually be able to see out into the pretty back side yard. Right. Here, I'm going to add a window, so we have to just make sure we make that plan. Fun story about the window. I wasn't going to go there. I'm going to go there. <laughs> so stuff doesn't always go right. And we had um, our drywallers come through. It was framed up perfectly. Our drywallers came through and it was crooked. It went from like skinny to fat over here. Oh no, fat to skinny over here. It's like me, skinny. <laughs> a little chunkier than back skinny again. Oh my gosh. Like a cake pop. <laughs> cake pop? <laughs> yeah. Just, cake pop is... Look at my legs compared to my upper skinny body. Legs, just like, pew. Oh my gosh. So let's check out the master bedroom. Look at how clean this looks. So this window moved over. She didn't want it lined straight up there when Stephanie designed this. And then we've got the little closet over here. But in here, it's just a really nice, clean closet. 
There's the switch. Show them the bath. The bathroom is really nice. Mm, guys. Oh my goodness. And you have your shower and you still have plenty of space. This is what we would normally do for a shower, but we added this beautiful soaker. They didn't even really need to do the glass, but I think it was a good choice for them to choose the glass. And I decided to do all of this bevel tile. The client really wanted bevel tile. She likes the classic look and it looks really good. It turned out really great. It also brightens up the space. On the vanity, this is the same countertop as the kitchen. We not only did this bathroom with the um, slab of granite from the kitchen, we were able to do the kitchen, the bathroom here, and then another bathroom in their main house. And it was an extra like maybe $200 to do that. So that's a really cool tip for you guys. If you're having your kitchen redone, ask the guy, hey, can I use that leftover slab to do a bathroom or to do um, some other additional stuff because that they're just going to use that remnant and they're actually probably going to sell your remnant. So take the remnant, try and get them to use it somewhere. And they just have a little bit of an upcharge for cutting in the hole and installation. I'm really happy with this bathroom. All right, All honey. Business. <laughs> this is first client that we have done as Very Justin true. and Stephanie Jones. Inc. Yep. What do you think? What are your thoughts? And I'll go over numbers. You tell me your thoughts. First. I'm really happy with it. I mean, it's definitely different working for yourself than working for a client. Not in a bad way. It's just, um, it does go a little slower. Would you do it again? Um, <laughs> we don't make as much money with clients. So, and if, I would rather put that time and energy into that, to be honest. Overall, I've been working for clients for 20 years. Yeah. They were easy, easy So clients. easy, so good. They're gonna make a lot of money because yeah. this is renting for about $1,300 a month. All in, they're all in with the glass. They paid for their own appliances, about 85,000. So if they can get $1,400 a month, yeah. at the end of the year, that's $16,000. They're quickly gonna recoup their return. So this is a good, a good point, is that if you do have something similar to this, like a pool house or Maybe you do have a garage. You've seen us convert our garages into master suites. Like we want to encourage you and inspire you to take your space that's maybe not used properly and convert it into a money-making profitable space. We love house hacking. We love teaching people how to house hack because we ourselves with our personal house, we house hack. So when you house hack, just really quick a one-off, when you house hack, let's say your budget for your monthly rent is you know, $1,500. That's what you need your mortgage to be at. You can now afford maybe a $2,000 to $2,500 price point because then you're gonna get a renter in there. You now are house hacking and you can have a nicer space to, to live in for your personal house because you now have a, a really great income producing property.